my channel. Today I am doing a chit chat to get ready with me. Um, you guys know I love these. These are so fun because you get like the best of both worlds. Like if you guys are wanting to see a look that I've been wearing and I get to chit chat with you guys. But today's look that I'm sporting is the makeup I've been wearing in all of my recent videos um, going over specifically the red lip that you guys have been dying to know about even though I put it in the description box. But also I'm going to be going over my experience with psychic readings. I'm one of those people I'm like, I need affirmation, you know? So I went to two and I'm kind of going to go over that and like where my future is leading me. Also, in case you guys might not be able to tell because it's really not that drastic, cut off two inches. <laughs> Cheers. I would even more appreciate it if you guys would stick around by subscribing to my channel by clicking that red button and also if you want to, you can check me out on my other social medias good time I swear without any more shameless promotion I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in to this chit chat get ready with me I hope you guys enjoy it my face is now bare and I'm about to just get this whole thing started and I'm gonna start off as always with my benefit precisely my brow pencil this thing rocks so I'm going to fill in my brows with this and I I have been going to like psychic readings and stuff recently, which is really cool because I've never gone to one. So I actually went to two because I didn't really get some stuff from the first one that seemed like me, like the way she described me was not me at all. So I felt like that stuff wasn't at, didn't hold as much truth, if that makes sense. So I went to another one, but this lady said she described me a lot as the color yellow and essentially what that meant was she sees me as a very bubbly person and I mean if you guys know me at all, I'm exactly I feel like how I act in my videos, not even act, that's how I behave in my videos and that's how I am in real life too and I often bite my tongue when it comes to like explaining how I feel or something like that which is also true. And the way that the first lady described me as is she said that I was 23 going on 40, which was kind of like a little alarming because that is not how I don't think any of my friends or anyone that knows me would describe me as. And it was really interesting kind of seeing a few similarities between the two. Like they both really see me doing a lot of stuff with writing in my future and Essentially the second girl I went to which is the one who like hit home with how describing how I am I often write whenever I'm like frustrated or like feeling a certain emotion just because I want to capture that exact emotion at that very time and that is so true because Anytime that something important in my life happens I write and um, You know Caitlin Tara Jill they can all confirm this and just because I, one of my goals in life is to write a book and more as like, I guess kind of like a self-help book or like advice book um, just because I feel like I've actually had a lot of life experiences. It was really cool knowing that they both saw that in the future so hopefully that comes true guys. Like that would be so neat because that's like literally my life goal is to write this book and I don't know, a lot of you guys have commented on videos that are more like serious of mine. You guys always are like, you should do that, so who knows, maybe that that is something, hopefully in my future that will happen. So this is my Smashbox Shape Matters Eyes Palette. I love this thing, um, it's got a lot of, it has just like every color matte you need to get through the day and I use this every single day to kind of blend all the colors because this is like my go-to filming look that I'm showing you guys. So another thing that I haven't really talked about a, like literally at all to like anyone because it's just been something that I've been keeping in the back of my mind because I, I'm, I'm, I'm very confused if LA is a city for me. The superhero palette guys is my new favorite thing. It's by It Cosmetics and it just has the prettiest eyeshadows in it. So I'm also going to be using the colors in here but I use this one as my highlight and then I use this fearless color and then daring a lot but yeah I love living with my best friend obviously I love this city I love how much it's made me grow I I seriously cannot imagine growing more in two years than I did when I was living here 
I've grown up, I've had so many things happen to me, but at the same time, I'm at that point where I'm like, is this where I wanna be like the rest of my life? And the answer to that is absolutely no. And I think a lot of people, like my close friends and family can see that because while this city has offered me so many things, I can't help but feel a little bit lost in it. And I don't think that has anything to do with the people. I don't think that has anything to do with in the settings that I thrive more in. Hold on guys, I'm like intensifying this. It's hard to like talk and like focus on like what exactly you're doing with your makeup. Especially with that horn outside my building that just keeps honking. There we go. Nope. Still going. Okay, so now I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner. I'm just using this one. It's an old Kat Von D one that I have, and I'm gonna wing out my eyeliner, but I can never do that on camera appropriately, so I'm not gonna do that. So whenever I do film, I like to apply mascara to my uh, lash extensions, and I use the Elizabeth Arden Grand Entrance Mascara, and also the Tarte Tartiest Mascara. Um, those are my two favorites right now, and so I'm just going to apply those to my lashes. I just kind of feel like I'm not thriving as much. I'm just kind of like living in Los Angeles, if that makes sense. Like we're not really doing much for each other anymore. And I've been thinking about breaking up with it. Now I'm not gonna tell you guys where both of these psychics told me that I'm gonna end up. I wanna know if you guys can guess it. I don't know if it's just gonna be in the next like year or two or what this will happen, but not saying I'm leaving. I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but sometimes my lash extensions don't hold its curl. Like it'll be like once every few months and they'll end up like this. They're like, they're not the best right now. I don't understand why that happens. But anyway, going off of that, which is gonna cause quite a controversy, I feel like, is people are gonna be like, oh my God, Sarah doesn't wanna live with Caitlyn anymore. That's not it. That's not it at all. Which brings me to my next thing, foundation. So I've been using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream with the Hourglass Illusion Skin Tint. That made me think of things. I was like, okay, does this mean that like, are things gonna hurt Caitlyn and I's friendship if I end up moving in the next year or two? And so I asked the psychic, I said, you know, I have a very, very best friend and I live with her and I don't want it to be um, something that is affected by me moving or anything like that just because I value the friendship a lot. So I asked her, I spoke to them and thankfully they were both like, <laughs> second one she was like just started cracking up instantly. She was like you guys are a hoot together and you guys have been for a few years right? And I said yeah and she was like for some reason the theme song to Laverine and Shirley, I don't know if I pronounced that right, is playing in my head and you two will be old friends. So I looked up that song and I instantly started crying because I was just like, it was talking about like dreams and like chasing them and doing whatever they want and all that stuff and just being really good friends. And it was like, oh my God. Team Kara's still going strong. The joys of having a puppy is my new concealer that I just got from It Cosmetics. Got chewed up by him, but I'm going to apply this under my eyes. Like I said, this is in the shade medium and now I'm, you guys are probably dying to know about my love life because obviously that's something I asked about and right now I feel like it is my time to be to find out really who I am stuff like that to me it was really interesting that my psychic was today um, the last one I did which was the one that I feel like I connected more with she told me that basically Right now, I'm kind of doing my own thing and focusing on growing and what is best for me right now. And I was just like, oh my god, that's exactly what's going on. The other things she told me were a little bit more personal, so I'm not going to share those with you, but it was pretty cool. Obviously, I took this all with a grain of salt because they're psychics and you, you never know, you know, because the future is unknown. <laughs> Next thing, I am loving this Becca Jaclyn Hill thing and I've been combining this color with this color a lot. Um, just like a little dab in the coral color and then a lot in the brown and I just apply it obviously to the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to take my Lorac 
Take Me to Tan Tango. Um, and I used the Tan Antonio and the Tan Diego. I mixed the two because I'm pretty tan right now. And I just apply this as my bronzer because the first lady I went to was like, you're gonna meet some guy that is really just gonna knock your socks off in the next few like months or weeks or something like that. And he's gonna be foreign and he's gonna be brunette. So let's see if I find any one of those. Um, I told my friends that the other day, Tara and Jill, and they were freaking out. It was really funny because they were like, oh, this person. That stuff is always just so fun because like obviously, like I said, you never know the truth behind anything. Now I'm going to contour with my It Cosmetics palette. This video is not sponsored by It Cosmetics. Believe it or not, I just really like their products. This is really random, but has anyone listened to Britney Spears' new song? Because I'm in love with it. This is called the Champagne Pop. Oh, this is the one that everyone's obsessed with. I had no idea that was in this palette. This is my favorite lip combo and it is the Rock Steady Urban Decay Lipstick with the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil and Gash. You guys, this stuff is life changing. Anyway, I'm gonna line my lips with this lip liner. And now I'm applying Rock Steady. And that is the red lip that I use in my videos. So if you ever see me rocking a red lip, it is this duo, the best thing ever. Now I'm just touching up my blush. That is how I get my filming day makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And let's just go to the outro now. So that concludes this Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And... It answered all your questions about this makeup look that I wear a lot. I also got my hair cut and dyed. I don't know if any y'all picked up on that, but I did. You guys probably didn't pick up on that because honestly, I looked the exact same as two inches off, so it was pretty extreme. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can stick around by subscribing to my channel by clicking that big red button. Um, it would be much appreciated. You can also follow me on Snapchat. I've been updating that a heck of ton of a lot. Um, you know, you might want to because I'll be going to Nashville and you guys will want to join me in that experience Even though I'm probably vlogging and then also stick around by checking out my other social medias because that's really cool <laughs> Until next time. I will talk to y'all later. Bye